Broncos defeat the Ducks for the second consecutive year. Still a lot of animosity on the field, not between teams, but between teammates. It all started with Blunt right there. He should be ejected for next week. And if I'm Chip Kelly, he may be ejected longer than that right there. LeGarrette Blunt nailing Byron House right on the chin. We saw Oregon players fighting amongst themselves, too. Blunt nailing out. That is unconscionable, reprehensible behavior. There's no excuse. No excuse for that. And Mark, think about we started this football game with a symbolic handshake to start the college football season on good sportsmanship. That is unbelievable right there. It would come as no surprise if LeGarrette Blunt is in sanction for the next game or ensuing games. And he is still, that's still almost out of control right now. And now police and other security have come in to try and calm down LeGarrette Blunt, the starting tailback for Oregon. We talk about great marketing for Oregon and how they sell their program in different ways. This is the opposite of that. The young man, remember, that was suspended and kicked out of the first practice of the summer by his head coach for behavioral issues. Coaches had told us in our meetings earlier that but Garrett Blunt had transformed himself into a more mature player. What happens if you're Oregon Monk? You could not only lose a game tonight, you could lose your entire season on a display like this tonight. Here's how it all transpired. Well, that appears to be a little bit of taunting. Sure. But it does not He saw his quote yeah. that he gave or what he was going to do to the Boise. Looks like Coach is trying to take out out of the way after saying something obviously to Blunt. Heather Cox has Coach Peterson who was right in the thick of things. Heather? Coach, congratulations on the win, but certainly a sour way to end it. What was your perspective on what happened after the handshake? You know, just emotions get the best of, of players. And, uh, you know, hey, it was a hard-fought game. Really proud of our defense. Uh, you know, typical first game, a lot of sloppy football, but I thought our defense rose to the occasion and played great. Coach, before kick, you certainly had to say all the right things surrounding all the hype. But now that the game's over, now that the Broncos have won, can you measure the importance of this game? Well, it's just one of 13. It really is. And next week is, uh, you know, just as important as this week. We've been saying it all along. we got tremendous respect for Oregon. They're a great program. We're happy that we were able to get this out uh, with a W. But we, the nice thing is, is we got so many things to learn from this game. And so it'll be nice to get back to work next week. After all the hype, I mean, really, for six months, we talked about it. People asked about the Oregon game, not about the season. How did you and how did this team not succumb to all that hype? Yeah, we're proud of those guys. We got some, you know, we got some youth, but we got some good maturity to go with it. Uh, it's had kind of a bowl game feel for a long time. And, uh, you know, we did what we needed to do, but we got a long way to go. Coach, congratulations. Enjoy the win. Mark? All right, Heather. Unfortunately, a night that started with a sportsmanship initiative, shaking hands at midfield prior to the game, ends with this indelible image. LeGarrette won. Hearing it from the fans here at Bronco Stadium, and then Scott Frost, one of the Oregon coaches, having to restrain Blunt from going after them. This, after Blunt struck Byron Howe with a punch to the jaw. There's Scott Frost, one of the Oregon coaches, holding Blunt back. Here's how it all started.
started right there. He snuck him with a right hand. An inauspicious beginning for head coach Chip Kelly, who has this to deal with now. Coming up next, it's Sports Center. There's been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. For Heather Cox, Bob Davey, and our entire production crew, I'm Mark Jones saying so long, everybody.